Hello, my name is Camila de Jesus, and welcome to another episode of Conversando, this time with exciting guest Juanita Gomez, who is the accessory senior designer for Consuela. She is a designer, she is a creative, and might I just say, she is a phenomenal designer with <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous accessories and purses and shoes and things, and we're going to talk about all of it. So, hi, how are you doing? Hi, great, thank you. I feel like I brought the whole closet with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's go over real quick. So you have shoes that we'll talk about. They are everything. Thanks. Okay, we moved. <laughs> They're phenomenal. And you designed them yourself. I did. Yeah, this was a little fun project. Um, I had a piece of skin, python, and I wanted to do something fun with it. So Wait, it started with you having the skin? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we have access to these beautiful skins, and I'm like, what am I going to do with it? So I had this pair of shoes. Oh my God. Similar to this, I'm like, oh, I would love to have these shoes in Python. Yeah. So here they are. <laughs> Gorgeous. And then the, the, the purse that you also designed. Yes. This is the Consuela purse. These like is QVC. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. This is the OG. The design is called Jody, the Jody crossbody. But this is the first prototype, and I love it. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. Okay, so before getting into Consuela and the designing and everything, I want to hear more about your journey. So you have moved quite a bit um, from Colombia to San Francisco to LA to New York and now Austin. That's right. Before we get into all of it in general, what was your experience learning English and just acclimating to being in the United States for the first time? It wasn't easy. It was, it was a tough experience. I learned English in school. I went to a uh, bilingual school, primary and high school. Nice. And I loved it. And I actually took extra classes in English. So it, it was a hobby. But it was really tough. Like being in the school at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco, just having to present your own project in front of a class in a different language, um, it was a challenge. That sounds like a nightmare. It like, was very intimidating. Um, it's the accent. Sometimes people didn't understand what I was saying. No. <laughs> it was a challenge, but I love challenges. So yeah, here am I uh, having an inter interview with you in English. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, that's what I've, you're saying. People didn't understand you. I'm like, I'm an, I understand you. It's like, the accent. And yeah, heavy. what accent? Like, <laughs> um, so you almost went to school for automobile design. Yes. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, that was a fun phase. I used to <laughs> love cars. I So growing up in Colombia, I had a family friend that owned a Miata, and an mm -hmm. Alfa Romeo, and I loved it. Okay. Um, so I wanted to design cars. Um, I kind of like built a love for for cars, the way cars look. That's looked. so cool. Yeah, so then I, I heard about the school. My Actually, my brother went to the academy as well. He was doing computer arts. Mm -hmm. And I heard about the, the curriculum, the automobile design. I'm like, oh my God, I want to be able to design cars and boats. Ooh. Yes, okay. so I went to school. I started school, but um, it was full. It was a male-dominated um, career for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I felt intimidated, and I switched to product design. That's so interesting. So at Latinita, so much of what we do is trying to get young Latinas into STEM because it is a male-dominated uh, male dom industry. Yes. And it also is um, a predominantly white industry in terms yes. of not a lot of Latinas there. Um, and a lot of what we try to instill in them is this confidence, this empowerment that you belong there, don't feel like you don't. So from your experience, what would you say to a younger you now that you're so confident in who you are and it might have not been your interest? Well, I think, like you said, it was a male-dominated industry, or it is. Um, there was only one more girl in the, mm. in the, um, in the class. Yeah. Uh, she was German, and she was so good. She drew oh, wow. so well. So I took a sketching class, and we were sketching just circles, squares, uh, primary shapes. 
Um, and we had to shade them with marker and like her drawings were just perfect. So mm -hmm. it was just her and I in the automobile um, career as women. And I felt super intimidated. So what I would tell myself back in the days, the little Juanita would be, take that minority, like being a min minority as um, being proud of. Yeah. You know, it's a great thing. You're one of those little few, one of those few that is trying to mm -hmm. make it out there. So feel proud of it. Mm -hmm. Not just feel intimidated and, and switch, right? I actually switched to product design because they were more female and um, and I still love it. You know, product is very broad, um, but yeah, I, I think being that. a minority, it's it's a great thing. It's it a is. great power. And it's it, like, like, yeah, exactly. It's a superpower. I, I was telling you off camera that my brother has gotten many opportunities because he understands Spanish, because he speaks Spanish. So it is, you bring something to the table and you deserve to be seated at that table. <laughs> um, out of all the places that you've lived, which is like a crazy, it's like a bucket list almost for people <laughs> that want to travel, like San Francisco, New York City. There have been great places. It's yeah. crazy. Major cities. That's for sure. Which place do you think you grew the most? Like personally or mm. professionally? Personally. Uh, New York. Really? Absolutely. Okay. New York built you. It, I, it builds yeah. like tough skin on you. Um, it, it's quite an experience. You know, you learned to hustle, yes. take care of yourself. Oh my gosh, um, yes accommodate to like different circumstances, figure it out on your own. Yes. So definitely great experience. Glad I check the box. I love that. I also moved from New York City to Austin. I grew up in Houston, but I would say the exact same thing. New York City is when I became like who I would consider myself to be today. And it's when I grew into myself. And I don't know if it's something about New York, but it it is so different and it just, makes you it just makes you like your life so much harder for like no reason in a way that you kind of you just you just have to be one of those people yes um so what would you say talking about new york mm -hmm. was your favorite and least favorite part of it um my least favorite part is living in a studio <laughs> oh my that, god right like okay, you live yeah. like in a shoebox I was Where? advised actually I had a friend uh, when I worked at Lucky Brand I had a friend a designer that she was from New York and she told me I used to live in a shoebox I'm like oh my god I don't know if I can deal with this and yes I got my own studio and it was a tiny little room yeah um so, so yeah so this is the reason why I moved to Austin I wanted more <laughs> space <laughs> Um, and the thing I like the most about New York is that you meet people from all over the world. Yeah. Uh, it's so multicultural. You learn you're so open-minded. You can go to a bar by yourself and you find someone to talk to. Yeah. Uh, so it's full of opportunities. It's a really fun city. It is. I would yeah. genuinely, if you could afford it, which is <laughs> a different conversation, I would encourage everyone to go there for like three months or something. Sure. It is just like, it is exactly that. I was fortunate that I moved with my mom. So I was in college and I just didn't have to pay anything and just got to go to college there. Perfect. So it was, it was really like looking back, I'm like, wow, that's so lucky. Um, yes. And the thing I hated the most was groceries. Oh, walking upstairs with your own Crazy. groceries. <laughs> like coming from Texas, that is insane. To like and people don't understand the luxury of a car. Yes. Because it does not exist. Or when you travel and you have to carry your oh, luggage. The worst. We oh Yeah, I lived in a walk up on the fourth floor and when I traveled for work to India or Asia. And I came back with my bag, luggage full of samples, and I had to bring them up. Yeah, it's <laughs> to the fourth floor, walking the stairs. Horrible. Yeah, biggest nightmare. It's like a, 
It's like people don't understand. It's like there are phases to traveling because it's not just like, oh, like here in Texas, it's like I'm going to the airport, whatever. But it's like, no, if you're going to groceries, you have to bring your little cart and then you have to pack your little cart with all the only what it can fit. So probably not right. even what you need for that week. And then you have to go back and then you have to figure a way to get it in elevator or in stair and pull it. And it's part of your routine. And it's like, imagine doing that every time forever. Yeah, it, like, I cannot get detergent today. No, <laughs> literally. It was so, like, because in my head now, I have that, like, that feeling of, like, oh, it was so fun. But then it's like you think about it, and you're like, that was crazy. And yes. that's just people's lives. Like, they just choose yeah. to do that. Exactly. We have it so easy over here. We do. <laughs> like it's, it's so crazy. Um, so you mentioned working at the Lucky Brands. You obviously currently work at Consuela. What yeah. other brands have you worked at? Because it's like a it's a list. Yeah, it's been fun. My first job after graduating was at William Sonoma. I was doing a home accessories. There was this so brand cool. called Hold Everything. Um, it's out of business now, but it was beautiful. It was based on colors. So organization for your closet, your office, towels, but it was mainly colors. Super wow. fun. Um, the North Face, Lucky Brand. Um, I worked for a licensee that did some Edelman bags. Oh, okay. Um, Amy Kestenberg, she's huge in QVC. Oh, okay, okay. My um, mom will know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, American Leather Co. And oh my gosh! Yeah, there's some other ones that I'm missing, but yes, now Consuela. Insane. Fun. Okay. Yes. Absolutely <laughs> wild. That's like it's also all the trendy bands. Like North Face had their like trendy moment, and Lucky, and like Consuela. Now it's crazy. Yes. Um. So obviously we know you from Consuela. Um, you work there as an accessories senior designer. What inspired you to pursue that career and do accessories design specifically? How did you find your way from New York City to there and then to Consuela? I, I love it. It's actually, I went to school for product design and I wanted to design electronics. I wanted to Again, design. Again, different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I started wanting to design cars. Yeah. Um, I didn't know much about cars, so I thought products will be easier. And I always wanted to do an electronic, like a handheld device. Ooh. The iPhones back then, yeah. I think it was like 2000, 2001. So I think the iPhones were new. And I wanted to design, come up with a new product that people will actually cannot live with. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I went to school for product design, and I always liked fashion. I come Obviously. from an artistic family. My dad is an architect. Um, my grandfather was a painter. Um, I have an aunt that she's an interior designer. So um, always surrounded by design. So I, I like fashion. So I thought um, uh, designing accessories is a, is a mix of fashion and mm -hmm. products. So um, I forgot to mention oh. this brand. So my first handbags brand uh, job that I got was called Meli Bianco. Okay. And it was it was so fun. Like going shopping to Hong Kong. And Whoa, what? Yeah. That was your first job? It was my first job going to Paris just to shop. Oh my God, what? Yeah, go go shop. Like buy would they pay would they give you money everything. and be like go have yes, fun? Like there's not a limit. Just like go get inspired, <laughs> buy reference samples. The funnest. Yes. Super fun. So then, yeah, how can I get out of it? Like, it's, it's so yeah. much fun. <laughs> wow. I mean, internet nowadays makes everything a lot easier. We did have internet. I'm not that old. Right. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but I think we have more accessibility to things on on the websites nowadays that, you know, it's you're more pro productive looking at the website mm -hmm. online than just going to the store, you know, it's like, it takes like a lot of days to be able to hit all the stores that you can look at in one day on the computer. Right. Uh, but yes, it's a mix of product and fashion, which, yes, my passion. That's so interesting. Did you ever watch, um, what is it called, Project Runway or anything yes. like that? Yes. I had a friend that was in Project <laughs> Runway. Really? Yes. Because like what you're the describing, first I, wait, what season? The very first one. Really? Yes. Whoa. Yeah. She, yeah, she didn't get that far, but. Did yeah. she like it? 
She loved it. It's yeah. well, it's so interesting because like so much of what they want that money to start their brand. But it kind of sounds like from what you're telling me, like it's kind of fun to work for other brands and like because exactly. you you're implementing your ideas just use utilizing someone else's money in a way. <laughs> it's like, not yeah, it's not easy. I tried. I tried to right. to start my own little thing like probably three times. It's not for everybody. You know, right. I'm like definitely a creative. I cannot sell my products. Mm. I can make the product, but I cannot sell it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really hard to do your own thing. You, you really have to want it and fully invested right. in it, um, to be able to make it somewhere. But yes, working with some, for somebody else, is not as stressful. It's way more fun. I, that <laughs> sounds like it. Um, could you take us through an average day as an accessories senior designer? Yes. Um, it's never the same. <laughs> That, but I love jobs like that. That my job is like that. Yeah, that. but we do have a routine. We do not a routine, a routine, but we do have a process. Um, so we work with the founder of the company, Connie Reed, and she is the creative director. So she has an idea, and like we all get inspired by different things. She's very into music. Ooh, okay. So like the vibe that she's in, that's how uh, she gets inspired for the season. So we start talking, we start looking at things, like what is this season going to be about? So we start looking at materials, see what's available. And that's how we start designing the collection, just mainly to see what materials we have to work with. Um, so we do concepting for a few months. Okay. And then we start sketching. Like, I need new silhouettes, right? So um, we need, for example, four silhouettes for the new season. So And the new, the seasons are, like, dictated by, like, is it spring, summer, fall? Like Correct. That? Okay. Yes. Um, so then... Do you do a winter season? We do fall, winter. So we have mm, two seasons okay. in Consuela, spring, summer, fall, winter. Oh, okay. okay. Um, other companies have, actually, four seasons right. or five with back to school. Oh, God. Um, okay. Yes. So then uh, I love hand sketching. Um, ah. So I start sketching. I sketch my drawings. We have meetings with the creative director, design director. We brainstorm. Yes, this is good. Then once the design is approved, we take it into the computer. And we use these uh, Adobe programs, Illustrator. Yeah. I do the technical drawings. I love doing the technical drawings for wow. it. So it's all the measurements. How do you make the bags? How do you construct these like unique detail? And then we th we play with different materials, different colors, make those bags in like all the CADs, drawings on computer in different colors, is which ones we like the most. And we send instructions to the factories. So we manufacture in Mexico, which is amazing. Um, this is one of the reasons why I joined Consuela. I love yeah. that we manufacture in Leon. That's, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, Guanajuato, León. We have another headquarters there. Um, so then we send all the design to the factories. We get prototypes back. We review them. We word test them. Uh, we make changes. We make notes. Yeah, so it is. It's it always changing. And then again, you know, like once the final, co the collection is finally approved, Connie gives it the thumbs up. Then we start the next season, and it's again, what's the vibe, what's the music, wow. what's the material. Okay, so this week, what have you been working on? This week, I was designing new silhouettes Ooh. with French. Ooh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. An it's exciting a secret. little sneak peek there. <laughs> it's actually, we're working on the Fall 25 co collection. That's what I was going to see, is how, how far in advance are you doing that? So you're already... Like a year and a half ahead. Wait... Oh. Fall 25. 20, oh. 2025. I don't know why in my head that registered as spring. Whoa, yeah. So, oh, it's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, because it has to because you have to manufacture it and wear test all of it. Exactly. Okay. It's actually, that's not, might not even be enough time. We wish to have more time right. than like a year ahead. Because yeah. you have to wear them, test the materials, see what happens with the colors. Like you got to try, wear test it. Has there ever time. been a wear test that like went really bad and you were like, okay, this. absolutely, crocking all over, 
cracking? You're cracking all over your pants, like oh no, like the color of oh. the leather, <gasps> will, like <laughs> oh yeah, like it like shades you. Suede. If the suede gets wet, like it gets. If you have white pants, it will get all over. You know, oh. like <laughs> yes, okay. accidents have happened. I mean, that's great that you know. <laughs> As you were, you mentioned, Consuela is inspired by and has and is manufactured in Mexico. Um, how does your cultural background influence your work? Are there specific like Latino design elements you incorporate in your accessories? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm very colorful. I yeah. Yeah, I think I think our culture. I'm from Colombia, um, and we do have a lot of color. You know, everything is so colonial and colorful. So yes, I love adding colors to my designs. I am known for choosing neon colors. Okay, <laughs> fun. I actually don't have anything hanging that's neon on my bag, but it's usually like a friendship bracelet oh. with neon thread. So like I always like um, like neutral colors with a pop, like a bright okay. I pop. I mean, I love that. It's your outfit today. Yeah. But it's like, it's, a, it's like a classic staple. It always looks good. Yeah, I love it. I love just having like a little, like an eye candy. <laughs> I, that's amazing. Outside of fashion and design and all of it, what is your go-to guilty pleasure? Like, what's a fun hobby you like to do? Well, I work out a ton. I cannot live without working out. Oh, really? Yes, I just picked up on tennis. And oh, oh it's, okay. It's a fun hobby, playing tonight. Oh, my Every gosh. Wednesday, I just go play. So working out, I think wellness and self-care, mm -hmm. uh, sound bath. Have you ever done a sound I bath? I have not. But Love wait, them. okay, the sound bath. Is that the thing where people like yes, they okay, the we, singing bowls? Latinitas actually had for their staff, we did like a sound bath like hour and it was the most relaxing thing I have ever experienced. I love it. I'm addicted to it. I get it. I yeah. I literally, after that, I was like calling my mom and I was like, let's do this this weekend. Like, it's it's so good. I know. I always try. I always bring over my friends and like you lay down for an hour and they're playing all this music and I take it around you and bring the sound over here and then it goes to the other side. It's beautiful. It's so relaxing. So I think uh, wellness, it's... It's my guilty. I love hobby. that. I just <laughs> got into not, <laughs> I'm not a gym person, but I just got a membership for one because I have a lot of like medical things. I need to be keeping myself healthy. It's important. So a lot of like walking and stuff. And I, I actually really, I really like it. I find it really like, it makes me feel a little stronger and it's something that I, I, I didn't do before. So I. So good. I think, I also feel like there's a difference between like when a girl is like, I like to work out versus a guy. <laughs> like when a guy says that, I'm like, mm. <laughs> Show off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also tennis is so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's hard. It's it very is. technical. Yeah, I'm it's, having a hard time and getting you're good running. at it. <laughs> like that's I mean, that's a skill that I, I, I think takes a while for sure. Yes. Um, but that's incredible. And for anyone listening, if you're listening to like the, the term wellness and you're like, meh, okay, that's not for me, genuinely try a sound bath once. Yes. It is like it's like therapy in a way. It's so good. It is therapy, yes. It's really amazing um so how do you think the designs of consuela accessories reflect or speak to the modern latina experience oh i think it's everything i mean we collaborate with artisans from mexico right we have um we work with ladies in small towns like chapas we have this girl rosa oh. she makes the friendship bracelets um mm -hmm. so it's like all of these like mexican inspired elements that it's colorful it's bright it's emotional yeah i mean that's hispanic right yes, <laughs> yes <laughs> that's totally. the description of being hispanic so absolutely it's consuela mm -hmm. it's all everything about latinas I love it. So yes. what's your favorite? You've brought a few, but what's your favorite piece you've designed specifically for Consuela and the story behind it? Oh, the Jody. So this is the Jody. This is actually the OG, the original. This is one of a kind. I'm the one that has it. <laughs> um, I love it. I always love Weave. There's this high-end brand called Bottega Veneta, mm -hmm. and they do woven, hand-woven bags. So I'm like, Connie, we have to make one. 
So I came up with this design. This is the leather that we use. This is the vaquera leather. It's untreated. So it actually gets darker with the use. Oh, okay. Um, it was a lot lighter, so it starts getting like darker, beautiful, kind of brown. Um, and yeah, so I love the weave. And we actually, this is the original. So the actual fin final piece has the edges of the strip painted in neon. That's, that's, that's a so Latina cool. touch in there. <laughs> so we have, uh, it's yellow neon in the front and yellow pink. Okay, sorry, yeah. sorry, neon pink in the back. Um, and it has a crossbody strap. I actually wear this one as a shoulder bag. This one has a, a patch with Swarovskis. Unfortunately, we removed it. Mm -hmm. um, but I love this one with the Swarovski patch. It's like... You carry a rainbow. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in the camera. But. I, mean, I can see the sparkles from here for sure. <laughs> yes, the Jody. I love it. That's so special. And what's the, I'm curious, what's the most recent thing you designed? The most recent thing I designed at Consuela, it's, um, it's a little wallet. Okay. That you can feed um, your lipstick, your headphones case. Oh, nice. um, Your cards. Um, and it has a little D, D ring where you can hook like a bracelet or your card keys. That's so, so it's fun. like a multifunctional piece. What's the name so I can like put a picture up? It's, uh, it's not out. Yet. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Sneak peek then. Yay. <laughs> yes. Um, what advice would you give to young Latinas who want to break into the fashion and design industry? Own it. Ooh. I think it's so fun. I think you have to trust your intuition, be yourself, don't try to follow any trends, just go with your intuition, don't go by the rules. Uh, break the rules, experiencing new things. Um, yeah, enjoy it. It's, it's really fun. If you could design a custom accessory for any influential Latina, past or present, who would it be and what would it look like? This is a hard question. It's No, I love, uh, she's from New York, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Oh my God, she's, yes. Yeah, she's, uh, she's I part love of her. the Democracy Party. She, she's a disruptor. Like, she's I love sick, her. Yeah. She has a voice. Uh, she has a lot of confidence. I will design a kind of like a like an envelope clash where she can have her notebook, her iPad, her things, um, just come into court. And That's like, <laughs> so sick. Ah, I probably do use my python snake, right? Ooh. With like a little touch of like embroidery mm -hmm. with a like pop color. You could add like red because she wears the red yes, lipstick. Yes, exactly. Could Maybe be. I will add some jewels, like mix it with like a stone. I don't know, like a really cool piece that. Oh my God, AOC, hello. <laughs> AOC, <laughs> listen <exactly>. to this. <laughs> a statement piece for her. I should. And now should it's just, like, now you just should and then be to. like here you now go. I'm gonna send it to her no literally and be like hi for anything ever here yeah she's great she's amazing she's I love an her. inspiration yeah. for sure that's yeah that's such a good answer that was so yeah. quick too Thank you had you. like a whole vision that's I amazing love I love how she talks like she was yeah. just talking about um Kamala yeah um yeah it was a it was an amazing speech it's yeah she's, she's yeah. very inspiring. I love they do the the congress things where they'll like show her just like really getting into someone I'm like that's my girl yes. like, it's like you're watching sports <laughs> you're like yes <laughs> yeah no I really admire her What's your go-to accessory that you cannot live without? Uh, my whoop. Your what? Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Whoop? So it's an accessory, right? Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's funny. One, th one thing I, I heard once is that the accessories are the last thing you put on and the first thing to be noticed. So every, yeah, so everything you add on after you have your clothes on, I consider it an accessory. Yeah. So... Because I'm in wellness, like mm. whoop, it tracks my oh, activity okay. and my recovery mm -hmm. and stuff. So like if I forget this at home, I'll have to come back and get it. <laughs> I, I feel you. That's, that's awesome. But fashion accessories, I think my shoes, 
I've been wearing my shoes quite a bit lately. I want them uh, so Even though it's bad. summer and I should be wearing sandals, it's too hot for socks, but... <laughs> I never, I only wear like closed-toed shoes. I don't think I ever wear sandals. Yeah, and like I'm walking around, so I want to be comfortable. I want to get my steps in, yeah. so I have to wear cool, uh, like cool, comfortable shoes. I so. love it. I am obsessed with these shoes. Like, Thank genuinely. you. Because, you know, you always see, like, creepers, but, like, you, like they always, they're always solid through here. I just love that, like, gap. It's so yeah, cool. it's, like, it makes it casual, but they're actually very high-end mm -hmm. uh, leather. So it's, like, a good mix. That's so cool. Is it still called leather when it's, like, a, a snake? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Things to learn. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any unexpected sources of inspiration outside of fashion, like music, art, or traveling that influence your designs? Absolutely. Every single thing. Just like being out and about or just just being at home and smell could, could inspire something. Yeah. Um, I love interior design. Um, I love, we just went to Marfa, just went to Marfa for my oh. birthday. And it's just a source of inspiration wherever you go, right? The restaurant, yeah. the food, the ambience, the colors. Um, the colors, right? The mix of um, textures like stone with wood with bronze. Um, mm -hmm. So everything, you know, uh, nature always cliche, right? Like nature but is so, so inspiring, but yes. But I love interior design. So lately, I've been looking at like home accessories I, that's to get awesome. inspired. But I see it though. Like it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, ceramics. Love ceramics. I, love cer I like. I really like ceramics. Before you know, when they glaze it, it like changes the color right before when it's like pastel. I love. I love those it. Ceramics. Yes, I wish they never does. had to glaze it, but they do. Because uh, <laughs> I don't think you can use it otherwise. Yeah, I think there's different ways that you can get it. But it's, like it's looking so that pastel -y. Yes, it's they're beautiful. Can you tell us um, a little bit more about this time you were spending in Hong Kong and Paris and what what that was like? Like, I'm so curious about that experience. I was young. Um, yeah, I was in my early 30s or probably late 20s. Uh, super fun, but you have to be very confident. I'm on by myself. In they didn't send anyone with you? No, a few times they didn't. Didn't. So I was by myself, just Googling everything, mm -hmm. um, making sure I was getting this, the right stores, taking the train on your own. Hong Kong. In Hong Kong? As well. Oh, yes. no. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So Did you get lost? It's fun. Yes, of course. But that's <laughs> when you discover so many good things. That's true. That's true. Um, it's so super fun. Like Paris is so so nice, so fancy. Like I was eating a great restaurant. It was exhausting. You're shopping all day. The yeah. good thing in Paris is that they can send your bags to the hotel. Really? Yes, it was great. Wow. Uh, so you didn't have to carry all the yeah, bags. Yeah, that's with what I was you. imagining you like. <laughs> right. So I actually hate shopping, <laughs> personal shopping, because I do it right. for work. Oh. And it is, it's yeah. exhausting. You're like walking all day, but super fun. You know, um, I think Hong Kong is like overwhelmed by stores. You go into these buildings it's it's like an apartment building but it's actually full of little right. stores inside That's and it's like eight floors full of stores you're like oh my god i gotta hit every single one did I can't you miss did you anything. have like oh yeah and you squeeze a little bit of energy left in you because mm. you don't want to miss out on anything um but paris, paris is super fun you know it's amazing like the, do you have a complex when you're like shopping where you're like I could make this better like, <laughs> like a little bit well yeah that is a problem that I think creatives <laughs> have <laughs> we always think we can make things better <laughs> we have to humble ourselves and be like no this is great but yeah I mean it's always a challenge right how to make things better because I've I've always thought if I could I have like so many little things I like to do but I'm not like great at any of them and I've always been like if I could just create my own clothes I would be unstoppable there you go and I, then you come up with your own shoes <laughs> I that you have to draw that's the problem you have to, yeah. have to be able to draw I can't draw but yeah and that is the great thing about designers is a it's um it's a curse a blessing and a curse because 
you're always trying to make things better. So yeah. you're always looking for the problem. What's the problem with this thing? How can I make it better, right? So with yeah. a bag, um, you start analyzing everything. Like, it's so heavy, you know? You carry it on your shoulder, and it's such a bigger shape for it, so the weight. Um, so there's always room for improvement. Is there something you think every bag should have for, like... Because I've noticed for women specifically, which I guess are the main people that use bags, I guess, even though anyone can use a bag. Oh, men are using um, bags I now. know. I My dad it. always has... Ugh, makes me happy. Yeah, I, um, a good clutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like... Is there anything you're like, it needs to have this pocket or I wish I could add this? Because that's something I feel so frustrated with, with like, I always have my notebook with me or I always have this. And then it's like finding anything that isn't massive that you can like walk into like a theater with or something. It's like an impossible task. Yeah. You mean like as a general bag, mm -hmm. like the whole, because there are some features of the bags that I feel like every single bag should have it. Give it to me. There's a lanyard inside with a oh. little hook so you can hook your keys that is so great. you're not looking digging in for your car keys or your house keys you just pull this the little you know yeah. lanyard the string with your keys attached to it um i think a multifunctional bag is always great that you can carry it with your hand as a handheld Ooh, yeah. or you can put it over the shoulder or have a strap so a bag that has like multi-functions it's it's always super practical. Or remove all the straps and then it's a little clutch that you can go mm -hmm. out yes. with at night. Because that's also going into like concerts now, venues, oh, yeah. that you have to have the clear bag, you have to have the tiny bag. And yes. it's like a very specific dimension that not exactly. a lot of people have. I love when they include like a clutch in a big bag and it's like, oh, it's, it's yeah. very, very nice. I've been very into those smaller kind of bags lately where I just want to carry on, like carry my, my phone, lipstick, Nothing um, a credit card and an ID and my keys that's it yeah they like, don't want anything else on me <laughs> I, exactly is there anything coming down in the pipeline for you or Consuela that you're working on yeah well we work with artisans but we are going back heavily into the artisans mm -hmm. um, touches like we're doing way more embroidery um, yes, so we're big in embroidery, um, but we we keep going at it strong. So we are looking for new artisans. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we're adding those special touches that yes. makes Consuela. That's amazing. Well, yes. thank you so much for this conversation. Yeah, I thank don't know you. how we did that so quickly. We went through like. <laughs> all of the questions <laughs> good i and love more. it <laughs> so thank you so so much it has been an absolute delight talking to you there's likewise you have like such a cool life it's such a cool story thank you i just love hearing about it i know everyone else will too so where can people find you obviously they can find consuela in austin but also yes. in a few other places yeah well I, i'm private on the social media okay, don't follow her <laughs> Uh, not because I want to, you know, it's just I'm not so into social media, but um, I don't know. I'll be around. <laughs> and you can find her designs in Consuela. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we're actually social media, De Consuela, um, social media. We we come up in, like, I, they were just asking me some questions today, so... You'll see me there for sure. So there you go. Find her on Consuela. I'm not trying media. to hide. No, no. But also her designs in Consuela. And thank you so much for being here. Thank it you. It was so fun. So that was my conversation with Juanita Gomez, senior accessories designer for Consuela. She is absolutely phenomenal. And it was such an incredible conversation and a great time. Um, I deeply appreciate her. And I think you guys should check out everything she's created. Consuela has many, many designs. And I'll see you on the next Conversando. Adios. <laughs>